in a small village nestled between lush green hills. There lived a farmer named Arlo. He was known for his hard work and honesty, but he was also somewhat stubborn and set in his ways. Arlo owned a large apple orchard that had been passed down through generations. Each year, he harvested the apples and sold them at the village market. One year, Arlo noticed something strange happening in his orchard. The apples on one particular tree were rotting quickly, even before they were ripe. Arlo was puzzled by this because his orchard was usually healthy and abundant. He tried different remedies he had heard about from fellow farmers, but nothing seemed to work. The apples continued to rot, and Arlo grew increasingly frustrated. One day, a traveler passed through the village and heard about Arlo's predicament. The traveler approached Arlo and offered some advice. I am familiar with a similar problem, the traveler said. It could be caused by an infestation of a particular pest that burrows into the roots of the tree. You may need to dig around the base of the tree to see if there are any signs of it. Arlo, set in his ways and unwilling to change his approach, was skeptical. I've never heard of such a pest before, he said, and I've been farming this orchard for many years. I think I know what I'm doing. The traveler tried to convince Arlo to at least give it a try, but Arlo dismissed the suggestion and carried on with his own methods. However, the apple tree continued to suffer and the situation grew worse. As the season went on, the traveler returned to the village and asked Arlo about his orchard. Arlo was hesitant, but finally, he confessed that the situation hadn't improved. You may be right, he admitted. Perhaps I should have tried your suggestion. The traveler encouraged Arlo to dig around the base of the tree and look for any signs of infestation. Arlo finally agreed and followed the traveler's advice. To his surprise, he found that the roots of the tree were indeed infested with pests. Arlo removed the affected roots and treated the soil with the recommended remedy. Over time, the tree recovered, and Arlo's orchard returned to its former health and productivity. Arlo was grateful for the traveler's advice and realized that sometimes, even those with experience can benefit from listening to others. Moral of the story. Pride and stubbornness can prevent us from learning new things and solving problems effectively. It's important to stay open to advice and new perspectives, even when we think we know the best course of action. Listening to others can lead to better outcomes and personal growth. 